In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the discriminant of a quadratic equation. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. The interior of the square root is known as the discriminant. The discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now whenever the discriminant is a positive value, that is if it's greater than 0, then you're going to have two real solutions. If the discriminant is equal to 0, then you're going to have one real solution. If the discriminant is less than 0, then you're going to have two imaginary solutions. So consider the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 7. Now this equation is in standard form. The standard form expression is ax squared plus bx plus c. So as you can see, a is 1, b is negative, I mean positive 4, and c is negative 7. So let's calculate the discriminant. And then let's use the quadratic formula to get the solutions. So d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. b is equal to 4, a is 1, and c is negative 7. 4 squared is 16, negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. 16 plus 28 is 44. So since the discriminant is greater than 0, since it's a positive number, that means that we should get two real solutions. Now let's use the quadratic formula to prove that we're going to get two real solutions. Now we know that x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So b is 4 plus or minus. We already know that the discriminant is square root 44. And then a is 1. Now let's simplify this expression. Radical 44 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 11. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So we have 2 root 11 divided by 2. Now let's make some space. So at this point, we can separate this fraction into two smaller fractions. So it's negative 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 radical 11 over 2, which is negative 2 plus or minus root 11. So if you have your calculator, you can get the decimal values. So x is equal to, the first answer is negative 2 minus the square root of 11, which is about negative 5.32. The second answer is negative 2 plus square root 11, and that's positive 1.32. So as you can see, we got two real solutions. One is positive, one is negative. Anytime the discriminant is greater than zero, you will always get two real solutions. Now let's try another example. Go ahead and calculate the discriminant for the quadratic equation x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to zero. So let's begin. a is equal to 1, b is negative 6, c is 9. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So that's a uh, negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. Negative 6 squared is the same as negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 minus 36 is 0. Whenever the discriminant is equal to 0, we're going to have one real solution.
Now let's prove it using the quadratic equation. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So b is negative 6. And the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, we just calculated, it was 0, divided by 2a, or 2 times 1. Negative times negative 6 is positive 6. The square root of 0 is 0 divided by 2. 6 plus 0 is still 6. 6 minus 0 is still 6. So this is simply equal to 6 over 2, which we get a final answer of positive 3. Notice that we only have one answer because the discriminant is equal to 0. So anytime the discriminant is equal to 0, you will get one real solution. It turns out that another way in which you can get the same answer is to factor the expression. What two numbers multiply to 9 but add to negative 6? Think about it. So we know that 3 times 3 is positive 9, but 3 plus 3 is 6. However, negative 3 times negative 3 is also positive 9, but negative 3 plus negative 3 adds up to negative 6. So to factor the expression, it's simply x minus 3 times x minus 3. Or you can write it as x minus 3 squared is equal to 0. So to solve for x, you can take the square root of both sides. And this is going to be x minus 3 is equal to 0. And then simply add 3 to both sides. So if you do it this way, you're going to get one solution. x is 3. So anytime the discriminant is equal to 0, you will always get one real solution. Try this example. Let's say that 2x squared plus 5x plus 8 is equal to 0. Calculate the discriminant, predict the number of solutions and the type, and then use the quadratic formula to confirm your answer. So in this problem we can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 8. So let's calculate the discriminant. The discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4ac. So that's a 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times 8. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Now, 25 minus 64 is negative 39. So the discriminant is negative, which means that it's less than 0. Whenever it's less than 0, you're going to have one, I mean two, imaginary solutions. Now, let's prove that this is the case. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to show that we're going to get two imaginary solutions. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So b is 5, and the discriminant b squared minus 4ac was a negative value. It was a 5 squared minus 64 and a is 2. So what we have now is negative 5 plus or minus 25 minus 64. We said it's uh, negative 39. And 2 times 2 is 4. Now it's important to understand that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, which is an imaginary number. So therefore, x is equal to negative 5 over 4 plus or minus root 39 over 4 times i. Negative 5 over 4 as a decimal 
is negative 1.25. Square root 39 divided by 4 as a decimal is like 1.56i. So there's two answers. The first answer is negative 1.25 plus 1.56i. And the second answer is negative 1.25 minus 1.56 times i. Now we have an imaginary solution because inside of the square root we have a negative number. So thus we have two imaginary solutions in this particular problem. So now you understand how the discriminant is related to the quadratic formula and you know how to determine the number and the type of solutions. So remember, if the discriminant is positive, if it's greater than zero, you're going to get two real solutions. If D is equal to zero, then there's gonna be one real solution. If D is negative, if the discriminant is less than zero, you're going to have two imaginary solutions.